Hello, I'm Matt, and welcome back to Southern RPG. So I needed a little bit of time to uh, get over the Dragon Age, like, madness that was going on and try and find myself a palette cleanser you know one of those games where you hate it so much that you need to play an older rpg to bring your faith back to the genre like that's what i've had to do i had to do that after the like I'd, i played so many hours for those days and i went through and i was going to be deciding what i was going to pick so i was going to pick Baldur's gate 3 and just run through that because the characters are really good the story is really good even though you played it a million times i can still play it a million more times there's so much depth and so many options to do in that game then i thought i was going to go back a little bit further maybe play mass effect legendary edition or the original dragon age origins just to have like some nostalgia feelings but i ended up going with a game that someone in the comments actually made about it being one of the top rpgs of the year and i actually ended up jumping into metaphor re -fantasio. and i've done about 40 hours in the two days like that's not even kidding i got so addicted to this game that i have literally been sleeping in four hour increments so i'd play for a load of hours sleep for four hours play for a load of hours sleep for four hours it is just that much fun i'm having a lot of fun in it but how the characters are written in metaphor and how the characters talk to each other and the different bad guys and how they interact with the player and stuff like that it really made me realize just how bad dragon age the veil guard was when it came to its writing and how bad it was that dragon age like the, the way that you get nothing for being there and talking to your companions. Not really. You don't get anything at all. And just how shallow the bad guys are in Dragon Age Felguard. Like, it's really, really bad. Like, I didn't really understand just how bad it was. I knew it was bad, but I didn't think it was like, oh my god, this is shockingly shit bad. I just thought it was bad. But then I started playing Metaphor, and then obviously, like, I'm not that far into it. I've just done the uh, sneaking onto Louis' ship and trying to get into his room to steal the formula. That's the point I've got up to. After, like, 40 hours, that's how far I've got. That, that, that's probably mid-game. At the most, just going into mid-game. I've still got a lot left to go in this game. But as I said earlier, I'm having an absolute blast of it. So I started to have a little look back at some of the conversations and some of the characters and the side characters and side bad guys that you have in Dragon Age and wondered who the hell actually wrote them and who the hell like who the fuck actually thought it was good to release them that way like i'm I, I i just don't get it i mean just sitting there there was one character that i literally the story this part of the story was absolutely amazing and it worked on the premise of a mother that lost her child now if you played metaphor you're gonna know what i'm talking about because it is pretty deep actually a mother loses her child and there are these monsters in metaphor called humans actually humans you know you know what i'd find as well that there's a lot of stuff in metaphor that kind of take the piss out of Dragon Age the Velgar before the Velgar was actually released. Like there's some stuff in the story where it, it kind of takes the piss out of Western RPG games in general. Like it's actually, if, if you look deep into it, you can actually find quite a lot of those things in there. Let me know down below if you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to give it away. I want you guys to tell me because I've seen quite a few of them already. But this character lost, loses her child. Her child is killed by the nanny that they hire. So they hire this nanny. The nanny finds out that it's, it's against like certain beliefs that this culture has. And she just kills the baby. So the mum, obviously distraught, loses her mind and then takes one of these monsters that are known as humans in this game and starts to bring it up as her own child. Like she swapped this monster out for her child. And like th these kind of things happen in real life a lot with a lot of different things. Like I actually know someone in my family who went through a very similar circumstance. So it actually pretty hit home how well they did this part. And what she ends up doing is kidnapping children from the town that she's the leader of and feeds them to this monster because she's trying to look after her child quote unquote child and she tries to she sits there the entire time and she'll like give herself a million reasons why she's doing the right thing and you have to go in there and you end up fighting her child it was actually a monster like that i'll put probably put some footage up on the screen of this actual part because like the human monsters are actually pretty damn twisted i mean i know it's an eastern fucking jrpg game and they're always pretty damn twisted but i'll probably end up doing a couple of videos on metaphor itself i just want to i'd really love to talk about some of the aspects of what makes that game so great and actually what makes eastern rpgs like japanese chinese and korean rpgs are just miles ahead of western shit at the moment we're too worried about all this social political bullshit that we don't make any stories good anymore like uh, 
if you even if you go and have a look at all the books that are being written and the stuff that's coming out recently they're all western creativity is just fucked so i'll probably end up doing a couple of videos on that at some point but you end up fighting this monster human baby thing and you finish it off and then she sits there and she's sitting there stroking this baby as if you just killed her own son and it's just it's absolutely mental and this is just one of the examples there's plenty of them a metaphor that you just can see and that, that are pretty damn bloody good to be honest and there's a million reasons i mean we all know that the characters in dragon age are bloody terrible but i think this is more the fault of western culture in general at the moment that's causing these issues and why our creativity is dying and how everything is just going bad but you end up killing this thing and then she ends up like the clouds kind of lifted from her when she you, you explain to her and she kind of figures out that it wasn't actually her son and then she realizes everything that's going on and she starts to repent for it and it becomes part of the story where you then take her to the santifix which is the the leader of the main religion in the game sanctism and she repents and then she ends up getting her head literally obliterated by the choice of the santifix because you kind of give him no choice you kind of made him look like a fool in front of all of his people and you kind of there's a whole st overarching story in this where you're you're trying to become king and there's a there's a big head in the sky that shows all the eyes and stuff uh, in the eyes is the the main contenders to become king like the old king set this all up but there's a whole there's a whole story on this but just the idea of what they're trying to mess with they have less fear in the eastern world and the developing world in east in like uh, in japan in china and korea etc they have less fear of upsetting people by tackling really strong really emotionally driven subject like babies dying like homosexuality likes transgender issues and all of these things that the west just don't know how to deal with and there's just so many things at the moment that i just don't understand why i mean you can blame the writers sure but there are 10 people above writers that can say that's a bit shit and then blah 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 and then go back to the drawing board and then you have the director you have the like all the different levels it's not just like the writers have the last say and bang it's done that's the, that's the game everyone blames just the writers but there are people that have to say yeah that's okay there are people that have to jump in and say you know what that sounds really good but then there's these other things the thing that actually made me laugh during like playing metaphor was the first spell that i got was called dei and i was just like that's what made me think that they're taking the piss out of the like the western rpg development teams because it was just like i mean i know it's a spell from yeah, from a long time ago, Personas and all that. So like all the Persona games and shit like that, which I haven't actually played that many Persona games. And the only reason I jumped into this is because of the person that had the comment there. Like one of my favorite games, JRPGs of this type of genre was Free Houses back in the day. And like that, that's, I mean, that's been out for quite a long time now, but that really did a really good job of the inter-party relationships and conversations and general storytelling. They just do it better at the moment. Like they even did it pretty damn well back in the day but there was still some development teams in the western hemisphere that were just actually keeping up with them yeah tales of the sword coast doing their stories wizards doing their stories bioware back when they were actually good but there's actually a game called exodus that most of the old bioware developers are actually working on like the story guys there's some weird shit in it but i also do a video on exodus as well because there's some interesting stuff on that at the moment which i'll probably do a video on but they're all working on that game exodus so we might have sort of a bright future maybe maybe for certain things where we have some of the older generations of writers and not this western i don't know what the hell this crap is to be honest because the amount of people that have bought it yeah it, it's not they they're not even cutting even at the moment so they haven't cut even at all i mean metaphor sold more than them and this it's a very small niche of players in the west that like this kind of jrpg at least in my opinion maybe it's changed now maybe it's different now but from when i used to play these type of gen jrpgs back in the day it was kind of a really small niche that not really many people went for everyone was more into the final fantasies and tales of mana and that sort of thing but not into this kind of thing this was a very different kettle of fish especially when i was younger at least with people that i knew but it seems like the metaphor's done really bloody well for itself and it does tackle those big issues and there's a lot of big issues that it is tackling and they're attacking them in, in the right way i don't feel like I, I feel uncomfortable when certain things happen in the story but it's not a bad cringe uncomfortable it's it's me being uncomfortable for actually something that is supposed to be uncomfortable and not just sitting there cringing my bollocks out listening to tash and tash tash over how you're supposed to pronounce it i don't really give that much of a shit to be honest but it's just a hell of a lot of issues that we need to as the the like as our developers the developers 
developers that are developing our RPGs need to start stop and look and see how well the Eastern RPGs are actually doing how much people love them how much people love the storylines behind them and there's no like subliminal messaging in there well it's not even subliminal at the moment it's literally thrown in your face at every fucking opportunity and there's plenty of stuff going on where we need to actually think about how our stories like because uh, the the end it's not even just the characters in Dragon Age Velgard it's the, it's the story arc it's the side quests it's the little mini stories that go off of there it's been so long now since we've had proper well done rpgs in the western side of the world i mean yeah we had Baldur's gate 3 but that's an outlier and larian is just on point and they've always been on point and they're they're a bunch of old uh, developers and older writers and uh, they have a different way of looking at things and they just want to make a great story and that's all they want to do we have some other games coming soon to uh, like with the developers of pillars of eternity for example that are going to be coming out soon and we just gonna have we have a we have a lot of stuff to look forward to in 2025 hopefully hoping that those developers actually stick to what they're good at and don't try and do this other bull shit and don't use these outsourcing companies to tell you what the like what your player base wants to see and just listen to what they're saying about other games that are being shit on like that i don't understand as a company looking to sell something to someone you do research into what's doing good and what's not doing good what players want and what players don't want the vast majority you're never going to make them all happy like and the vast majority of players don't want to be forced into certain things they don't want to be forced into feeling some people feel guilty about things when they're being forced into their throats they don't want to feel bad about things they don't want to f- like go come home and sit on the sofa and listen to the same bullshit they have to listen to in the workspace all day every day everyone telling you you can't say that you can't say this you can't do that you can't do this you can't blah 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 and to get home and just sit down get back relax grab a monster cup of tea beer whatever your fancy is and just jump into a fantasy world and get away from all this random bullshit that we have to deal with in our real life right now and that's kind of where i'm gonna be sticking with the eastern jrpgs for a good for a good long while now until larian works on something uh, or the pillars of eternity developers start working on something and getting those things out there and then hopefully we can continue on and people start to wipe up that and start to not hire people based on their motivations politically and we have a lot to do and a lot to work on as a culture right now the whole war going on between the two sides well there's more than two sides but we really need to start working on this stuff and get over it and move on so the creativity of the things we love can continue whether it's books whether it's tv shows movies whatever because it's it's happening to the entire west the it, everything to do with entertainment in the western side of the world is just going to shit at the moment i can't like i can't even watch tv series i can't watch movies anymore because it's i mean oh, unless you're watching things like deadpool which is amazing deadpool 3 was absolutely amazing at least in my opinion we still have a few outliers there we still have a few bits and pieces that are coming out and just giving us what we want as rpg fans and then there's the ones that are ruining it for everyone because companies and developers will stop creating these games because no one's buying them and it's not because we don't want to buy rpgs it's literally because we just want to fucking play a game that is in a fantasy universe that's got nothing to do with our own and that's basically my little talk over i just wanted to have a little i just it just came into my head as i was playing metaphor and just how it was done and how it and how much better there is the storytelling and it's the graphics aren't fucking great the 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 mechanics in the game are pretty damn good the combat's pretty fun because i love the old school final fantasy turn-based type fight and stuff so i'm really having a lot of fun there but it's just the inner character talking and the story building and stuff like that they did so good in metaphor it's done, it's done so much better than anything we've created in a long time let me know down below what you thought of metaphor if like if these developers can actually start to create something for themselves and what they need to do to actually start creating good bloody games again let me know down below i want to thank you for watching remember to like and sub if you haven't already for your survival gaming goodness fly safe and avoid local chat scams